Italy is planning to build the longest suspension bridge in the world to connect the island of Sicily to the Italian mainland. This bridge will greatly reduce the time it takes to travel to and from Sicily, making it easier to connect with the rest of Italy. However, building this bridge won't be easy. The area is known for strong winds, an active earthquake zone, and there might even be challenges from the Italian mafia. So how will Italy manage to build this bridge? Today, we'll explore the intriguing Strait of Messina Bridge. Sicily is the largest and most populated island in the Mediterranean, home to about 5 million people. It's an important part of Italy, contributing to the country's economy with its agriculture, wine, fishing and tourism industries. Travelling between Sicily and the mainland isn't simple. The Strait of Messina is just over 3 kilometers wide at its narrowest point, but there's no bridge or tunnel to cross it. To get to Sicily from Calabria in Italy, you need to take a ferry, which usually takes 30 to 40 minutes, not including wait time. This has made Sicily somewhat detached from Italy's main transport network and Europe's highways. Imagine, you could drive from the tip of Italy all the way to London without stopping, but you can't get directly to Sicily. Given the economic, social and travel benefits a bridge could bring to Sicily, why hasn't one been built yet? Over the years, many ideas to bridge this gap have been proposed, but none really took off. In 1969, Italy held a design competition for this purpose, but it didn't lead to any concrete results. There were also some pretty wild ideas, like building an underwater tunnel similar to the Channel Tunnel between Great Britain and mainland Europe. However, the challenging conditions in the Strait of Messina, like its strong currents and depth, make such plans impractical. Everything changed in 1981 when the Italian government set up the Messina Strait Company to seriously plan out the bridge. By 2006, after more than 30 years, they finally came up with a feasible plan for what is now known as the Strait of Messina Bridge. This bridge is set to be a record breaker. With a main span of 3,300 meters, it will not only be the world's longest suspension bridge, but will surpass the current record holder by a significant margin. The towers supporting the bridge will be 382 meters tall, taller than the Empire State Building, making it the tallest bridge in the world, surpassing even the Malau Viaduct in France. This project is set to be a remarkable feat of engineering showcasing what's possible with modern technology and design. The Strait of Messina Bridge is going to be the tallest structure in Italy, surpassing the current record by 100 meters. The bridge will link Torre Faro in Sicily to Villa San Giovanni on the mainland. Its deck, 60 meters wide, will include three box girders, a design that's more complex than the typical one or two girders found in other bridges. This design allows for two lanes of vehicle traffic and a separate rail line, significantly reducing the current 40-minute ferry ride to just four minutes. Once finished, the bridge is expected to support 6,000 vehicles per hour and 200 trains per day. An interesting aspect of its design is that the majority of the bridge over the strait will consist of a single span. This minimizes construction in the water, easing the building process and lessening environmental impact. This design choice cleverly circumvents the challenges that prevented the construction of a tunnel, like the strait's depth and unpredictable currents. There's even a legendary aspect to the strait, with tales of sea monsters Scylla and Charybdis from ancient mythology adding a cultural dimension to this engineering feat. The bridge's design ensures it doesn't interfere with the water below, sidestepping the issues of depth and currents. With a vertical clearance of 65 meters, it will even allow large cruise ships to pass underneath effortlessly. However, it's important to note that these ambitious plans date back to 2006, and the actual progress on the bridge reflects a long journey of planning and overcoming logistical challenges. 
So why hasn't the bridge construction started, even though it's been almost 20 years? The main reason is politics. Since the detailed plans came out in 2006, the Italian parliament has stopped and started the bridge project a few times. There are several reasons why the bridge was cancelled many times. One big reason is a huge crack in the earth right under where the bridge would go. But the most common reason is that there wasn't enough money for it. The project just sat there in the parliament for 17 years. But in 2023, things started to look up. After many years of planning, the Italian government finally said yes to the Strait of Messina Bridge. It was a big moment for Italy. Construction is supposed to start in June 2024, and it will cost $12.7 billion. Even though the government has agreed to it, the challenge is building the bridge. It will be unmatched by anything the world has ever seen. Building the Strait of Messina Bridge is tricky because of where it's going to be. The spot might seem good, but there's a big issue not many people know about. The area where they want to build the bridge is right on top of a fault line where two big pieces of the Earth's crust meet. This makes building the bridge even more challenging. Back in 1908, a huge earthquake with a magnitude of 7.1 hit the area where the bridge is planned, causing a lot of damage and sadly killing over 80,000 people. This earthquake centre was exactly where the bridge is supposed to go. To make sure the bridge can stand strong during such earthquakes, it's designed to handle even a 7.5 magnitude quake. One way they're doing this is by having two big towers on solid ground for more stability. These towers have special designs that let the bridge bend during an earthquake. Plus, the bridge's long deck, over three kilometers, helps spread out the shaking. Another big problem is the strong winds in the area. The strait's shape makes the wind blow even faster through it, sometimes reaching speeds of 120 kilometers per hour, which can be really bad for bridges. To deal with this, the bridge's deck is made to cut through the wind smoothly. It has three sections, and the shape of the outer two helps push the wind down and out, which can help the bridge stand up to winds as fast as 300 km per hour, way stronger than the usual winds or even hurricanes. With a huge project like the bridge, it's likely these groups would want to get involved to make money in any way they can, possibly taking control of parts of the construction process to get protection money which would make the project even more costly. However, Matteo Salvini, the Italian infrastructure minister who played a big part in getting the bridge approved recently, says they're prepared to deal with these risks. He promises that only the best companies will work on the bridge and they'll take steps to prevent the mafia from interfering with the construction. What do you think about the bridge project? Do you believe it will finally be completed this time? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more updates on new projects around the world. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.